Indian doctor Mohammed Hanif has returned to Australia seeking compensation for his wrongful detention in 2007 under anti-terrorism laws. His lawyers say the case is without precedent. Dr Hanif says he's happy to be back in the country but his reputation continues to suffer after his treatment here. When Dr Hanif was detained at Brisbane Airport in 2007, he was heading home to India to see his wife and newborn daughter. She's now three and his fight for justice continues. And I'm hopeful that the upcoming mediation will be an opportunity to resolve this matter and give my family and me a chance to move forward. Dr Hanif was working at the Gold Coast Hospital. He was the first person detained under anti-terrorism laws. He was held in prison for nearly a month after the Glasgow airport attack three years ago. Two distant relatives were involved. Those events were a disgrace. They were a stain on Australia's reputation as a fair place in which to live and work. The 2008 Clark inquiry found the evidence against Dr Hanif was completely deficient. The compensation which will be sought for Dr Hanif will be significant and it will be commensurate with the effect upon his career, his reputation and his life in general. The mediation talks in Brisbane next week will be chaired by former judge Tony Fitzgerald QC. The federal government says it's focused on resolving the matter in the interests of all parties. Dr Hanif now works in the United Arab Emirates but hasn't ruled out a return to Australia. We'll see how the mediation process goes and uh, we'll, we'll discuss this uh, with my family and plan for the return if it's best for us. We've got no reason to believe that this process will be a charade. We will see. Dr Hanif hopes to spend some time on the Gold Coast after the talks finish. Donna Field, ABC News, Brisbane.